Hello, in this lecture, we will define annuity. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of annuity is series of equal payments at equal intervals. There are different situations where we would have an annuity, a series of payments. We could have something like an insurance policy where they're trying to figure out how many equal payments would be there for something like life insurance. We often run into annuity payments when we're thinking about uh, loans. We could set up a loan set up in such a way that we have equal payments, a similar structure that we have when we have a mortgage loan. And it's helpful to see the annuity table when we have a situation such as this and the, the annuity table will help to give us that time value of money it'll help us to break out principal payments and interest payments let's take a look at an example we're going to assume that we're going to get a loan from the bank we're going to get a loan in a similar structure as a mortgage in that we're going to have equal payments throughout the loan and some of those payments will be for interest some principal but the payment amount will be the same each time each month. We're gonna have a loan of 100,000. We're gonna have a 12 month loan to make it simple. So we're only gonna have 12 months. We're not gonna go out uh, 30 years or anything. And then we're gonna have the interest rate at 5%. And we're gonna say the payment amount then, we would calculate the payment amount. And if you're looking at a loan amount or looking at a loan agreement, whether it be a car loan or a mortgage, they'll generally calculate the payment amount given a computer system, Excel, or just a, calcu uh, a financial calculator saying the payment will be, in this case, 8,561. It's helpful, however, to look at the annuity table as well. We know from this series that the agreement in this case is that we have the 100,000 loan that we are getting, and we're gonna pay back 8,561 for 12 months. So if we just work out the math on that, we could say, okay, if we're gonna get 100,000 and we're gonna pay back 8561 12 times, then we're gonna pay 102,732 back, and we originally got 100, therefore the 2732 is gonna be the interest portion. However, it's also helpful to see that how much of an interest portion is in each particular payment because the portion of interest in this type of loan is going to differ as the loan progresses forward. For example, if we have an annuity table set up something like this, we said the first payment is going to be that 8,561. We can then calculate the interest, how we're going to take the principal amount in this case, the 100,000 times the 5%, which is 0 0.05, that would give us interest for a year. I need interest for a month, so I'm gonna divide that by 12, and that'll give us approximately this 417. That means that if we had the payment of 8561 minus the 417, principal amount would be this 8,144. The amount remaining then, uh, outstanding is the 100,000, minus the 8144 giving us amount remaining principal balance after the first payment of 91,856. Then we can go on like this. We can say the second payment is going to be the same. However, the amount of interest is going to differ. Why? Because now our principal has now changed. So our principal is now this 91,856 times the 0.055% that would be for a year dividing by 12, 12 months in the year, giving us approximately 383. And then if we subtract this out, the 8561 minus 383, the principal changes as well from the prior uh, payment. Therefore, the payment's the same, but the interest and principal will differ due to the fact that the principal's going down, interest being the loan on the principal then also goes down 
and now we would be at the 83678, that being the 91856 minus the principal portion, bringing us to this balance. If we repeat this process, process 12 times, we can see that uh, we would finally get down to zero at the end of this process, and it gives us a lot more information. If we're looking at something like a 30 year out loan, it's helpful to know in year one, how much interest will we be paying as opposed to principal, even though the, the payments are the same, interest being deductible, at least for taxes in that case, uh, the principal not being deductible. That's